We're really up close and personal today. Hello, everyone. Besties, before we start the bookshelf tour, this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. Now, I've talked about BetterHelp before because clearly I am a big, big believer in therapy, y'all, okay? My life completely changed once I started BetterHelp, so this sponsorship means a lot to me. It has helped me just have a better life. That's the best way I can explain it. I've always dealt with anxiety, depression. I have a lot of other things I deal with as well, and having therapy, having someone to talk to was something I never thought I was going to be able to do because I was always so scared. But it helped me it's so easy because literally I just found someone online. I was able to see which person worked best for me and just start right where I was. It was simple, it was fast, and it was exactly what I needed in that moment. And now I'm doing therapy full time, literally every single week. I'm at therapy. And that would not have happened without BetterHelp. So again, today's sponsor means a lot to me. So for those of you who want to join me in BetterHelp first, you can go to the link. I will put it in the description below so that you guys can get your therapist too and basically they connect you with a therapist and from the comfort of your own home you can start getting the help that you need and that you deserve it's also the easiest way for you to start therapy because like i said you can do it from the comfort of your home and you can do it from your phone or your computer messaging or video chat however you feel comfortable so like i said if you would like to join me please feel free to click the link in the description and you can enjoy a special discount for your first month i love you guys and i always want you to be doing amazing i talk about mental health a lot on this channel so this is very on brand for me <laughs> but i love you and let's take care of ourselves and each other i love you i love you love you back to the bookshelf tour and again thank you so much better help for sponsoring today's video hello my shiny face hello my besties it is time it is time ladies and gents this is the moment you waited for <sighs> Ooh, it's bookshelf tour time you're probably wondering larry why are you in the kitchen i'll tell you because well because i'm gonna show you my bookshelf and obviously we need to have a little suspense you know what i mean also just got my nails done what do we think She's beauty, she's grace, she's Miss Brazil. What do we think? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you my bookshelf. I have just spent quite literally the past week organizing this bookshelf, building new bookshelves, donating books. Like it's been, it's been a journey. And I took you guys on the journey because if you haven't watched it, go watch my organizing bookshelf video. This, that one comes, that one comes before this one. It's the prequel to this video. So go watch that and then come back, I'll wait. <laughs> So how have you guys been? The people that have already watched it while we're waiting for the other ones. How have you guys been? Because I really, I need to know what's going on in your life. You know what I mean? How is everything? I hope everything's amazing. <sighs> I'm good, thanks for asking. Anyway, okay, you're back, everyone's back. We are going to show you my bookshelf. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. It's finally time. It's not perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and say that right now. I I want I want more. Like I, I wanna fix it up to make it absolutely perfection. However, I ran out of time and I really wanna show you guys this and you guys really wanna see it. So just know that more will be done to it eventually. And whenever I do new things, I will be probably doing more tours. So Let's do it, come with me, come with me, follow me everyone. We're gonna start in the living room. So this is my living room, in case you're wondering, here we are, living room, kitchen, you know, the whole shebang. And when you first walk in, I put a bookshelf, ready? So you walk in, I already showed you guys this, but there's the door, there's the door, bitch! You walk in and then, ta-da, bookshelf right there. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna show you guys the full shebang and then I'll go and like show you each thing. Oh my God, I cannot reach that. Oh boy. Okay, so I kind of made this like the fantasy shelf a little bit, but there is more than fantasy on here, I'm not gonna lie, due to the fact that I ran out of space. So. We've got, oh my God, these two are special editions that I got from Owl Crate. They sent it to me, which is so sweet because I'm excited to read these and they're beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness, we love her. Okay, and then we have Belladonna, which I think this is one of the most beautiful covers ever. If I have space later and I like this book, I'm definitely gonna flip it to show the cover, but stay tuned. And then we have a couple of other, you know, series here. This is by the same author. I really need to read her series. I started this long ago, never finished it, but I will. And then we've got Powerless up there, Fourth Wing, of course. We've got Six of Crows. We've got the Prison Healer trilogy that I wanna read. I only have Cruel Prince. I don't think I have the other two, if I'm being honest. I can find it at least. So that's that. And then this is like a historical romance slash fantasy thing. So that's the top shelf. And then we've got some plants, of course. And we move on to right here. We've got 
Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Of course, I had to put a little something for a TV show there. Then we've got some V.E. Schwab that I really need to read and Light Lark, which I also need to read. Oh, you know what sucks? That I have the hardcover for Night Bane and the paperback for Light Lark, but worry not because I made them fit. I made them look like they fit at least. Let me move on right here. We've got Pearson. I need to read this apparently before I read this. So maybe I should have switched that. Alas, here we are. It's fine. I put Bride here because I didn't really know where to put it since it's kind of like a fantasy, like a shifter kind of thing. So there it is. And then here are all the books I have from the Zodiac Academy. Oh, you cannot see that. There it is. So it's an order. And then I guess, I don't really know. I don't think I have five or six because where is it? But I think that might also be a novella. I don't know. And then this is like the number one again, but told by the boys. I don't know what that means, but there's that. And we've got this that a beautiful Shark Bay gave me. Look, it's like a apparently a retelling. I'm pretty sure it's Peter Pan, I want to say. Cute, right? So I put that there because it matches. See? And then again, plants. Then we move on to down here. This is my Sarah J Mass shrine. Okay, that sounds weird to say. Let's not say that. This is this is my Sarah J Mass dedicated shelf. I'm going to be reading this and I'll be reading it in this order in case anyone's wondering. I am going to be reading Assassin's Blade first. I decided to argue with a wall. I'm sorry. It's been decided. I did my research and this is the way I want to do it. So I'm going to do that. Then we've got another plant. Hi plant. This kind of reminds me of Vervain. Does it not? So no vampires will show up, which is kind of upsetting because I sort of want Klaus Michelson to show up. So maybe I should take that out, but it's okay because he's an original. So therefore Vervain doesn't affect him anyway. So we don't really need to worry about that. Anyway, then we've got a special edition of Akatar and then all of Akatar right there. This is another Throne of Glass, but, but Shadi Bay annotated it for me. So it's literally beautiful. Let me show you. Wait, I need to put it down somewhere. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Look at that. It's annotated. <gasps> I'm not going to flip through it because I don't want to spoil anything, but it is literally annotated. I'm so excited. So I will be reading this copy. That's why she's right up there because she is special. And then we've got Crescent City. I do have different size Crescent Cities. So I put a little plant there to kind of like pretend that that's not the case because that pisses me off like that. What? What the fuck? Anyway, that's that shelf. Then moving on. I'm squatting and it's kind of hurting my legs. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, this is a candle in case you're wondering for for never from Jessa Hastings. I hate this book, but I like the candle. So there's that. And then we've got Hunger Games throwback and we've got to deal with the Elf King. I really want to read this. It looks really, really good. Look at that. Ooh, looks so good. And then we've got all of Shatter Me right here. And then this random standalone I have. And then Aaron Morganson, Mor Morgan, Morgan Stern. And we've got some more fantasies. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. And another plant. I'm so excited to read this, you guys. Like, I could cry just thinking about it. I'm going to be reading it soon. It's so beautiful. Best believe I'm still bewitched. <laughs> then we go under here. As we saw, if you guys watched the video before the last video where I opened packages, Angel Grace gave me this. So, of course, I put it there with a little candle. And then this is where we get a little confusing, okay? Because this is where we don't have any more fantasy. But that's just because I ran out of space on the other shelves. So, this had to be done, okay? So, we've got some Emily McIntyre over there. This is her small town series that I really need to read. And then we've got the special editions that I have. Isn't that beautiful? And then we also have Hooked and Wretched. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't remember where I got this. Let me see if it says in the back. I feel like they probably aren't even selling it anymore. So, fabled. There you go. Yay! It looks like the 4th of July. Then we've got some other stuff right here. We've got Taylor Jenkins Reid. I put Chloe Lease. This one like didn't fit right there, so I put it up there. <laughs> then we've got the Simple Wild series and we've got Brittany Cherry, my queen. I cannot wait to read this, you guys. I'm gonna read it hopefully this month. I want to. Like this, this fourth, fourth logy? How do you call a book with four? Quadruple G? That is not correct. Like there's no way that that's right. I can't wait to read that series. Then the bottom shelf, we've got Caraval and then we've got, I have these two books from the Poppy War. I don't think I have the last one. I couldn't find it. And then we've got Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never after I had to put the ballot over here instead of next to this because they do not line up and it looked so ugly. So I had to separate them a bit. Then we've got the Mara Dyer trilogy. I read the first one. I really need to read the other two. Legends and Lattes. I want to read this so bad. Clearly I haven't read a lot of these as you guys can see. <laughs> and then here we have just some more random shenanigans. This, I don't even know if it would fall into like fantasy or thriller kind of vibes. I have no idea. I want to read it, but I don't know. Then beautiful Shadi B wrote this, Hannah. And she said it was like inspired by Akatar. So put it here in the fantasy side. Same with this. This is also fantasy. And then we've got some randoms that I didn't know where to put. So here they are. <laughs> Ta-da! That shelf is done. We're done. Let me get up. So now you guys can kind of like see it. Ta-da! 
she cute? I really like her. I worked hard on her, okay? And Giant worked hard on building her, so you, you appreciate her. Also, the air turned on, so you mind your business if you hear that sound. Anyway, then we move along. Oh my god, wait, look how cute. I put this here that Grace gave me with my book of shadows. Then you move along right here. And this is my other shelf. She's the tiny one, and she's the one for hardcovers. So, I don't really know how I'm gonna be able to reach this. There you go. Here's my special edition of Say You Swear that I made. Of course, I had to make her the main attraction because I designed this. Like, come on, you guys. You guys, I'm never gonna forget that. Anyway, so there's that. Then, when I was at Sweetgrass, an angel literally made me, she crocheted me a lily, a daisy, and a rose. And so I put it in the bookshelf. And there's some more hardcovers right there. They look very cute next to Say You Swear. Same over here. Of course, I had to literally highlight that love, in other words, because it's beautiful. Tia Williams, one of my faves. If you haven't read Seven Days in June, please do. Then you go down and you have some princesses of Philly, little merch thing, and some more, some more um, hardcovers. Same down here, nothing new to see. This is a special edition of A Love Letter to Whiskey that Candy Steiner sent to me. And of course, of course I had to put it there. And again, Bessie Grace, of course I had to put that there too. Then we've got some more over here. This is literally like, Look, can you guys see that? I don't really know if you can see it. It's like, it says first son and prince of England in a secret relationship. <laughs> and then I have it in front of my history, huh? And then you turn the book around, ready? Bet we can make some. <sighs> One of my favorite books of all time. Of course I have that there. And then go away, I'm reading with some more special editions. Look at this, you guys. This is the most beautiful thing ever. Let me show you, let me show you. Just wait, just wait, like, let me show you. Look at this special edition of Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. <gasps> One of my favorite books of all time. Abby Jimenez is just like, she, she, wow. You know what I mean? Wow. She has quickly become one of my favorite authors. I will read anything that woman writes. I'm currently reading Just for the Summer and I'm so fucking obsessed. I have no words. Anyway, let me show you the shelf one more time. As you guys can see, this video is a little all over the place. I'm having to sit down and get up and sit back down and get back up. And it's just, it's just a mess. Snug as a bug on a rug. What's that one thing that people say? Americans say that, right? I'm snug as a bug in a rug. I'm not sm smug as a bug in a rug because I'm actually uncomfortable sitting down and getting back up but I do it for you. Anyway, here's the shelf. Yay, we love her, woohoo! Round of applause for the two shelves in the living room. Woo! The crowd goes wild. Okay, now we go into my room. You wanna come to my room? You wanna come to my room and play games? Let's go. So you join my room, ta-da. Wait, it is so bright, it looks like heaven in here. Let's try to entrance back in. Oh shoot, we lowered the light. Ta-da! Let's pretend that was the first time. There's a Beatles. He's hanging out, Max, and relaxing all cool. Oh, what a king, what a king. There's this fucking picture that they drew of me and Giant. <laughs> it doesn't look like us at all. <laughs> it looks like Luis Suarez and Shakira. So it's not giving us, but it's okay, it's cute, and it's fun. First, let's do this shelf. So this is a new shelf, and she's kind of like the the thriller and the leftovers shelf that I didn't know where to put. Same with this, like clearly here, there's no rhyme or reason to this. It's just like I had no more space and I put shit there. Same with this one. It's just a little all over the place, but it's fine. Everything's fine. And this makes me look educated. These two books, like, come on, they look like something an educated person would read. And it's next to my R2D2. So could I, could I look smarter? Come on now. And here in the shelves, woohoo. So first up, We've got a plant. Hi, plant. Move her over. And we've got some thrillers. These are all pretty much thrillers. We've got One of Us is Dead. Love that. Behind Closed Doors, What Lies in the Woods, The Maid's Diary. And then here we have one of my favorites, which is The Natural Series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. We've got some Lucy Foley. I haven't read her yet, but I really want to. I really want to read this too, The Maid. Then we've got some... Frida McFadden, you know I love. I gave away the ones I really hated. So it's only left over the ones I actually enjoyed. I really didn't like the coworker though, so I don't know why I kept that. I might give it away still. Anyway, here's the Fridas. And then here's some Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Yeah, Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy. No exit, you guys, this thriller is insane. I listened to it like two years ago and I still haven't been able to stop thinking about it. It was wild. I even cried at the end for some reason. Anyway, here's Alice Feeney. I really like Rock, Paper, Scissors, but I didn't like her other books. So I don't know if Alice Feeney's for me, but we'll see. I'm gonna try more. The Chain looks absolutely insane. I cannot wait to read it. Do you guys wanna know what it's about? It literally, apparently, apparently, here's the tea. Like you're like at the park with your kid and someone takes your kid and then they text 
trust you and they say that you can get your kid back if you take someone else's kid. So it's like a chain that you become a part of. And apparently it's like this crazy horror thriller book and I really want to read it. So stay tuned for that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know if this is in order. I have a feeling that it's not and I really need to fix it up. Also Beepster scratched it. So ignore that. But anyway, I might need to fix it because I don't think it's in order now that I'm looking at it, but it's fine. <laughs> Let's ignore it. So that's the top shelf. Then we move on down here. I put my special editions of the Grip Trilogy because look at this. <gasps> look at this. Oh my God, you guys. Story time behind these, you guys. Let me just tell you. Let me just tell you because I know you want to know, okay? So I, it was my birthday coming up. I think it was my birthday coming up, something like that. And these special editions were about to go on sale. And I was with Lauren and we were at Barnes and Noble as we do, not roomy, Roomy Lauren, other bestie Lauren, because, you know, Roomy Lauren doesn't read. <laughs> I wish she did, but she doesn't, no matter how many books I recommend to her. Anyway. So I was with Lauren and she was telling me about these special editions and I was like, oh my God, I need to get them, but I didn't get it in time. So she got it for me and it was my birthday gift. So I'm so excited. Thank you for that. I absolutely love this trilogy. Like it's one of my favorites ever. Kennedy Ryan can do no wrong in my eyeballs. And I just need you guys all to read it. And this special edition is this like they're to die for. They're to die for. I just basically want to choke and die just looking at them. So please appreciate them. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Anyway, these are some more Alice Feeney, which remember when I said, I don't know if Alice Feeney is for me. I fear I'm going to have to find out because why do I own both of these? <laughs> I bought these at used bookstores and there was they were literally brand new looking at the store. And I was like, I need to get them. This is a sign. So I got them. So there they are. That's nice. There's some more thrillers. Here we go. I read this. I didn't really like it, but I, I kept it. So not that on that. I really like this one though. This one's crazy. And I really like this one. There you go. Woohoo! Some more thrillers! Wild stuff! And then you go to the bottom shelf. There she is. And we've got some more Kennedy Ryan. We've got randomly the silent page in here and a bunch of more random books plus Kennedy again and some, some more random shenanigans. I didn't really have any rhyme or reason for this. It's just kind of there. It's just kind of the books that I didn't have anywhere else to put them. So there they are. So that's that shelf. What do we think? What do we think? I'm gonna wait and... and, and, and and hear you guys, hear you loud and clear. What do we think? We love you, Larissa. Oh my God, you're so talented at decorating shelves. What can't you do? Oh, thank you guys so much. That is so sweet. Moving on. <laughs> so then we go under my television, which keep in mind, me and Giant are changing our TV because our TV doesn't work anymore. <laughs> It's the same TV Giants had for like years. And so we're switching that up. So ignore the TV, but here's like this little rainbow shenanigans I decided to do. I don't really know why, because I don't like rainbow decorated bookshelves for me, but I did it on, on these because these are floating shelves. I got them on Amazon. Everything will be linked in my Amazon storefront if that can help you guys. Also, here are my superheroes. Besides the point. Anyway, here we go. We've got the pink pile. I really like this book. I adore this book. Don't let anyone tell you not to read it. Run and read it. It's so good. This one was fun. Love. Really liked. But this one's better. So I would I would read I would read this one before anything else. So go ahead. Then we have blue. Um blue daddy dee 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 dee. I just read this. It was really good. Love this one. I really want to read this, you guys. I have no idea. Like the name doesn't really call to me because what do you mean ashes? Like ashes like she's dead? I'm not sure. I'm scared, but I want to read it. Then I have to read Iris Kelly Doesn't Date. I cannot wait. It looks so good. Then some more random books. Same with this. Purple. We've got Lavender Haze. There is Delilah Green. I kept her close to Iris Kelly and there she is. And then I also kept Astrid Parker close to Delilah and close to Iris. So I put them all together, you see? <laughs> and this is the green pile. And this is the yellow one. Yay, so there's my rainbow Skittles. Then you go down under the television and there's some more shenanigans. So here we have the pastels. I wanted to make this side kind of like colorful as fuck and that's kind of what happened. I adore this, like these covers, these pastel colors and the beautiful author sent it to me. So Stephanie Alvis, I cannot wait to read this series. It looks so good and I needed to display it. So there's that. Same with these, like look how cute these are. I love a long time coming, you guys, please read it. Then we've got some red, white, and royal blue. And of course I put love in other words, like up front, because first of all, it matches this mug I found at Target, slightly obsessed. And that is so me. So I put it next to love in other words. <laughs> And then there are some random books back there. The Spanish Love Deception and Beach Read is not random. I don't know why I said that, but I didn't have anywhere else to put them. They didn't look cute anywhere else. So there they are. Ta-da! First shelf done. Then here's the second one. Some random, some random books and, and a little, a little plant once more. This is the special editions of A Deal with the Devil and The Devil in Deep Blue Sea. I love these. They look so cute. And then The Favor, one of my favorite books. And then we've got some other covers of that too. 
And then some randoms. Will I ever read the roughest draft? I don't know, but it's there for when I'm ready. And here's some more books, as you can see. Yep, nothing new there. This is a special edition of Wildcat. Look how nice it looks. It looks like a little journal. So I even gave away the other Wildcat I had because I just wanted the special edition. So there's that. Then here's the last shelf. We've got some random YAs. Like I put the summer I turned pretty and what is it? What is this? The Lara Jean one. Why, why can't I remember? To all the boys I loved before. And then we've got Heartstopper and these two are YAs as well. These are not, but I put them there because I had no other space. Also, look at this cover, you guys. Hold on. Wait, let me tell you a story. My first boyfriend ever, his name was Lucas, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to read this. <laughs> But you know what? I should, because we were we were kids. Like, who cares? You know what I mean? Like, we were, I don't even know how old we were. I think 13 or something. And he was like my first boyfriend ever. And I was like, I'm in love. And, and when we broke up, I was like, oh my God, my life is ending. Like, I was going to marry him. Girl, be so fucking for real. No, I was not going to marry him. <laughs> anyway, his name was Lucas. As if you guys don't know enough about me. What I was actually going to say is that these covers are beautiful. Look at that. Goal and holding. <gasps> oh my God, how beautiful is that? Yay. And then look at this. Look at this cover. Oh my God. I love this. She's so talented. I am so excited to read this book because the beautiful angel that wrote it is incredible. And I, I just love the cover. I love the concept. The fact that she sent it to me, I'm so, so thankful. And you guys write books and that's insane. So I'm very excited to read this and I will be reading it. Say it with me now in a video I have coming soon where I read the books you wrote. You know the drill. Why is the sun doing that? Why is the sun sunning? Stop it. I want it to be dark, like my soul. So that's this side. Then we move to this one. Again, more colorful shenanigans, but this is kind of like the small town section a little bit. I separated a little bit that way. And then I do have my Lily and Low, Low and Lily, and a little plant right there as well. So first shelf, we've got some Melanie Harlow, my personal favorite, blind side. Oh, so good. You know what I should do? I should put a love letter to whiskey here. <gasps> be right back. Stay here, don't move. I'm back. I put a love letter to whiskey right there because it's my favorite Melanie Harlow. Oh wait, it's not Melanie Harlow. It's Candy Steiner, I'm stupid. Why did I get so excited and do all that for nothing? <laughs> No, I literally moved it for the exact reason as I was thinking like it's the Melanie Harlow shelf and I should have a love letter to whiskey there. What in the fuck was I thinking? We'll move it back. It's fine. Let's not think about that right now. <laughs> Let's pretend that I didn't put that there. You know what? Just leave it. Just leave it. She's cute. She's cute and she's trying her best. So just leave her there. I'm sure Candy Steiner and Melanie Harlow would get along great. So there they are. Here's my special edition of Tempt. I don't know why I have the special edition. I'm not going to lie to you. I bought it in a time of, I can't even grab it. Okay. Okay. Are you kidding? Oh no. Okay, I bought it in a time of weakness because I've never even read Tempt and for some reason I bought the special edition, so <sighs> yeah. Anyway, moving on. Then we've got Corinne Michaels. I read only one book by her and I didn't like it, but I'm excited to read this series. This is like the Willow Creek Valley series. And then this is the Love and Isolation series by Kennedy Fox. So small town, all small town, and then some randoms. I'm so excited to read this one, you guys. Cinderella's faking it. I can't grab it. I literally can't grab it with my nails that I just did like long ones. I, I okay, let's just... Ta-da! <laughs> and you go under, there's some more romances. We've got Lily Gold. Love this book. Didn't really like this one. Still have to read these two, so stay tuned. Then we've got some other random ones. I read this one, but haven't read the rest. Love this one. No, I don't. I like it. I don't love it. That's exaggerative. I like this one. One of my faves. I can't wait to read this one because Grace gave it to me and it looks so good. And look at that. Oh, these look so good. These look so beautiful, but I cannot show you due to the fact that I cannot grab that with my nails. Sorry. Then we've got some more pastel looking books. I'm so excited to read these, you guys. Look, like the, what's her name? Kai Stevens. I'm so excited to read her books. Like, look at that. The Trade, Fault Line, and Springtide. These go together. And then this is a separate one, I think. Yeah. And then I'm also excited to read this one. Completely different author, but it looks so good. And then you go under here and we've got some Stephanie Archer. I really want to read her books, you guys. They look beautiful and I love their covers. I want to get the other two to this series. I only have these two. And then I think this is a separate series, I think. I don't have the other one either. I'm not really sure. And then there's Hannah Bone and Young. Out on a Limb, one of my favorites. I have to read these. And then there's Kelsey and Denise. I love the covers of their books, so I put it here. Look at that. And then Lily and Lo. And then the bottom shelf. We've got Devney Perry. Since I just don't love the books that much, they're under here. 
<laughs> but some of them I love. So Letters to Molly is one of my favorites. I rated it five stars. Same with Juniper Hill. So these two books are incredible. And then I really like Sable Peak. I haven't read any of these. And I read, I think, only two from this series. So I'm going to read it. And I love Debbie, Debbie Perry's covers. So of course they're here. And then we've got Liz Tom Ford. Due to the fact that her books are so thick, I had nowhere else to put them. So here they are. And here's a special edition to Mile High. Look how beautiful she is. She's not that beautiful. I don't know why I acted like she was so beautiful. She's cute. She's very whatever. I don't know why I thought she was so gorgeous before. <laughs> Moving on. And then we have a random Tis the Season for Revenge. Again, clearly I didn't know where to put this, but look how gorgeous that cover is. Ooh, pink. So there's that shelf, as you can see. Ta-da! Now we move on to my big shelf. Wait, I have to do a, a shot with it. Can you see? Okay. You don't care. You don't care. Let's move on. Here's the big shelf. Oh, there's me in the mirror. Hi. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so proud of this. I'm so proud of this. I want to die. Look at her. Look at her. Tell me she's not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life. You'd be lying. First of all, up there, we've got Daisy and Reich, Lily and Lo, and Rose and Connor. <laughs> on a pedestal as they deserve. Then on here on the side, we've got some more books that make me look smart. Tell me these books don't make me look intelligent. Like, come on now. I look like I read a little life. Come on, come on. And then some randoms that I didn't know where to put them. And same with these. <laughs> I love these forever. And I love this. And I really wanna read these. So there you go. Okay, so we're gonna start on the left side. This is all of Addicted Calloway and the Leica series and some special editions. And then we've got some, some more Lillian Lowe. There's also behind this too, there's more Addicted Calloway, but I had no space, so I had to put it behind it. <laughs> And look at this special edition of Charming Like Us. Oh, we love. Then we go under to my Boys of Tom and Shelf. Look at this, you guys. I just got this, the Taming Seven arc. I'm throwing up. And then of course I had to put my special edition here. Come on. I had no space to put both, but there, there they are. Because I designed this. Can you fucking believe it? And then when I finish doing Redeeming and Saving Six, and when I finish doing Taming Seven, I'm gonna put it here too. But that's a problem for later me. Then here's some cute books. I bought this randomly at a book convention. I had never heard of it before, but the cover really spoke to me. I don't know what it said, but clearly it said something important since I bought it immediately and I bought all three. Oh my goodness, tragedy has struck. Now we've got some random sports romance and Magnolia Parks with a plant, ta-da. Then you go underneath and you've got some more small towns over here. We've got the Spanish Love Deception itinerary. Then we have BK Boyenson. I love 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 Light Farms. I really want to read these other two. And then we've got Catherine Cowles, another small town queen. And this is a special edition of Fractured Sky, but you can't see it because it's all the way under there. Sorry. There's Lucy's score. Here we've got Done and Dusted and Swept and Saddled by Lila Sage. And then we have Talia Hibber with Chloe Brown trilogy. And then we have Elsie. We've got all of the Chestnut Springs. I don't have Hopeless. <laughs> But it's fine, let's forget that. And then we have the other series. And then we have the arc I got for Wild Love, one of my favorite Elsie books. You guys run and read it. It just came out by the time you're watching this. Then there's the special editions I got at Sweetgrass. Look at that. Let me show you guys in case you're wondering. There's Flawless, Heartless, Powerless, Reckless, and Hopeless. Yay! I love these editions so much. These are very much prized possessions of mine. And then you move under here and I have Anna and Lauren. Bestie Lauren, of course. There's my special edition of Redeemed. In case anyone forgot, here it is. This is your final week to order the box, by the way, you guys. So if you want the box that comes with the special edition of Redeemed, special edition of Binding and Keeping, and the special edition of Sinner's Duet, plus Archer's Voice, go order the box. I will leave the link in the description. It's your final week before they completely go out of sale. And we only have limited quantities available. So, okay. It feels so weird being behind the camera. <laughs> anyway, here's Lauren. I have Dirty Air, and then I have Dreamland Billionaires, my personal favorite, and then my personal favorite from this one. And I love this one so much. And then Love Unwritten will go right under here once I have it. There's Anna right here. I've got some special editions to the Twisted series and then regular editions and then a special edition of Twisted Hate that Anna sent to me because she knows it's my favorite one in the series. Shall I show you? I'll show you. Look at my special editions of Twisted Hate. And then we have King of Greed. I only got King of Greed because it's my favorite, so. Oh man, we gotta put everything back. Oh, why'd you guys make me take it off? Why did you want to see it? Why are you the way that you are? You guys, what's your favorite book from the Twisted series? I'll tell you mine, Twisted Hate. It's the most unpopular opinion of all time because everyone's favorite is Twisted Games, but I just, I love Twisted Hate so much. You could never make me hate Josh and Jules. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you can't. You can't. I finished. Okay, so 
proceeding. Then we have another Lucy Score. I put her right here because I love this book, so I wanted to show more. And then we have more Lucy Score behind there. <laughs> this edition of The Tragedy of Felix and Jake. And then Becca Mack. Ta-da! Then you go under here. And you've got some more. So yours truly is one of my favorite books of all time. I love Abby Jimenez with all my heart and soul. So I wanted to put this one showing. And this is a special edition from Eternal Embers. So love. Then we've got some Marin Moore. I've read this, these two. I haven't read the rest. I didn't love this one, but I think I liked this one. I actually don't remember. I need to read them again. And then I've got some more. I really want to read this series by Kristen Callahan, y'all. And I really want to read this and, and this. I've read this, love, one of my favorites, so underrated. And I've read this one. Mia Sosa's Brazilian, so go read her books. <laughs> then we've got some Abby Jimenez, my queen, and a candle. Nice. Candle in the wind. One of the best books of all time. Literally read it. It is so underrated and it'll get you out of a reading slump. So write this down right now. Go read 1% of you because Larry says so. You read down? Great. And then we've got some books behind there. This is another version of Archer's Voice because it's annotated. And then some more, some more books for the fans. One of the best books ever. I love Meet Me Halfway, another underrated one. And another one of the best books ever. This is a different edition of Tragedy of Felix and Jake. So that's that. And then the last shelf is my Slow Burn MZ shelf. So here are all my Mariam Zapata books. I did put some behind it because I didn't have space and I hate these two. So I put them under there. And this is my special edition of All Roads Lead Here. I literally sold my arm and a leg for this edition and I regret nothing. In case no one knows by now, Marianne Zapata is my favorite author of all time, so of course I had to have a shelf dedicated to her. And then here's some more slow burns from Ella Maisie. I love Marriage for One. So this is my original cover and then the new one. And then we've got In a Jam, another another slow burn. So I put it here. I love this book. It's very good. And then some Hannah Grace. This is Quebrando Gelo is Icebreaker in Portuguese, you guys. This is the Brazilian edition and she so kindly gave it to me. So of course I put it there. And there's Wildfire. Yay! This shelf done. Now we're moving on to the dark side. We just went through the light side. Are you guys ready to join me on the dark side? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the dark side, everyone. Starting with the top, we've got all my dark romances. They're not even like, I didn't even really just put dark. I just put like books that were like dark, dark gray or blue or black or whatever. But I'm pretty sure all of them are dark romances now that I think about it. <laughs> So here's the Ravenhood trilogy. Here is, I don't know what trilogy this is. I don't know what it's called, but it's like Gods and Muses or whatever. I don't really know. There's that. Then there's this. I don't know what this is at all, but I can't wait to read it. This book looks like it, it like it terrifies me, but I really do want to read it someday. And we've got Jennifer Hartman, Still Beating, one of my favorites, Pam Godwin, and, and then we've got Sierra Simone. We've got some special editions because Saint and Sinner are my favorites. So of course I put it there. And I did put Saint and Sinner, the original covers under that. <laughs> We forget Priest exists. <laughs> so there's that. Then, moving on, of course we put Haunting Adeline right here. I put Haunting behind it. It's like a jump scare, you know what I mean? Like you're like, oh, what an interesting book. What is that? <gasps> you know? <laughs> This is the trilogy I'm gonna read soon with my mom. It looks so good. It's Flor de los Muertos. It looks good, so I can't wait to read it. Like, look at the cover. Look at that. Then we've got the Souls Trilogy by Harley LaRue and the Losers Duet. My faves ever. Her Soul to Take is my favorite of all time. And then we've got Devil's Night and some more random Penelope Douglas. And then I put Ghosted here. I don't know why. I had no place for it, clearly. And then you go under. Oh my God, this is one of my favorites. I don't know why this shelf looks so good, but it's all Cora Riley, Monica Murphy. Then we've got S Mastery with the Hockey God series. This is the best one ever, even though most people love this one, but this is my favorite. So there. Then we've got The Promises, whatever, Virtuoso, Gods, Muses, something by Sarah R. Miller. I haven't read these, but they look really good and I can't wait to read them. And then, oh my God, I'm so excited to read these because you guys saw me open them. The last opening books video because the Shadi Bay literally said that she read these because like, one was after God of Fury and the other one was after for the fans. So therefore I must read them immediately. Look at this. <gasps> Fun. And then the Sinners Trilogy, Sinners Consumed, Sinners Anonymous, Sinners Condemned, whatever. There's gonna be one more, so it'll go right here. I have a little bit of space for it. Hopefully it's not too big. <laughs> this series is really fun mafia. Whenever you guys are in the mood for a fun, spicy mafia romance, and this is the best book ever. Then moving on, we've got Rina Kent, another one of my queens. We've got the Torment duet that my mom really wants me to read. One day I will, but they scare me. So there they are, Rina's keeping them safe. And then a bunch of other Rina Kent books. These are all the Rina Kent books I have. So I put them in order, sort of. And here's my favorite. Hi, hi favorite, love you so much. <laughs> if I had a special edition of God of Fury, it would go right here. However, I don't, so we're gonna move past that. Here's Butcher and Blackbird, and here's some randoms, and then here's a book that Shadi Bay wrote. So of course, of course I had to put it here. V, hi V, 
Me too soon. Can't wait to read. Stick it back in there. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, that's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> now we've got Sophie down here and Naomi Loud. <laughs> there is On the Line, which is a book for my TBR this month, which I just read. You'd be proud of me. And then some other books by her. I don't even know if this is in order. I'm not going to lie. But let's ignore that. And then there's Soph all over. And there's my special edition of Sinners. Don't forget, last week to order. If you want to order the whole box, link in description. <laughs> <laughs> then here is C.R. Jane, the fucking wrong number guy and date, and then the Dark Verse series and Gothicana. Yay! The absolute best. These three right here. That was supposed to be chef's kiss in case you didn't get that. And there's the bottom shelf. I don't know why I kept these. I'm not gonna lie because I don't like them, but I really love After the Fall. So maybe that's why I kept it, like just for that one. <laughs> but I hate Welcome to the Dark Side so much. Let's pretend it's not there. Then we've got the Maid series. This was like my introduction to dark romances. And then we've got these, which I really want to read soon. This is the Madison Kate series one through four, and then the Haiti series one through four. And they're like, like this goes first and then it's a spinoff. I don't know. I really want to read it though. And there's the Mindfuck series. One of my favorites. Then we've got this one. I've never read it, but look how thick it is. Oh my God, I'm scared. And then the Lord's Trilogy, another one I'm scared of. And then we've got some Parker S. Huntington and um, Hawk by Jesse Hall, which another one I just read. You'd be proud of me part two. Ta-da! Wow. We're done. We did all of that, you guys. Here's me with my final shelves. Okay, this, that's literally what took me all fucking week. In case you're wondering what I've been doing, if, you, if you've been like, hey, what's Larry been up to this week? Well, there you go. That's what I've been up to, doing that. But now it's done. My house feels so clean and I feel so happy with how everything turned out. Again, I, I will be fixing it as I go and adding more. So stay tuned for that. The more books I get, the more shelves I'm gonna get. And eventually my house is just gonna be a library and there's no stopping me, you know? But thank you so much for watching this video, my beautiful besties. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know which shelf is your favorite, which books are your favorite. Let me know whatever you wanna let me know in the comments below or maybe overshare something. Since I always overshare, I'm always sharing my life with you. Share something back. I'll wait. I'm starving. I actually gotta go. I really wanna go eat. Anyway, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week.